Now, if you're going to gather any type of diagnostic logging data in Azure, utilizing Azure Monitor, you're going to need a uh, Azure Log Analytics workspace. So this is going to be a resource that's going to store your logging data, okay? So I want to add one of those real quick here. Here we are on portal.azure.com. I'm going to click the menu button, and I'm going to go to All Services. We're just going to do a search for Log Analytic, all right? And once we get there, we'll see Log Analytics Workspace as a resource. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And I don't currently have one, so I'm going to click to create one. All right. Then I can create a little resource group for it. I'm just going to call it um, Log Workspace RG and give it a name, My Log Workspace ELP. All right, and that'll be the name of my log analytics workspace. I'm going to set this to East US. All right, and then from there, let's just verify the name. I'm going to click Review and Create. We just got to make sure it passes validation. And then um, once validation is done, I'm going to click Create. And I'll go ahead and just uh, pause the recording while that's getting created. Okay, so now that that's done, I can actually go to the resource and you can see the Log Analytics workspace. And of course, this is what's going to allow me to uh, pull information in. But I want to jump back over to Azure Monitor. So we're going to click the menu button and we're going to go to Monitor. And if we scroll down, there is an area uh, in Azure Monitor called Diagnostic Settings. And that's what I want to focus on right now. So we'll click on Diagnostic Settings. And then it'll detect the different areas that I can pull diagnostic uh, log data for. So, for example, if, uh, if I've got a virtual machine and I want to pull diagnostic data for, let's say, the network interface adapter, and keep in mind I can do that for these various uh, resources you see here, I'll click on this network interface, and then I'm going to click Add Diagnostic Settings. From there, if I wanted, I could click All Metrics, uh, or I could go over here where it says send to log analytics workspace. All right. Uh, give it a name. I'm going to say uh, Nick Diag Settings. And I'm going to say send to log analytics workspace. And there is the log analytics workspace that I've uh, got available. All right. Um, so I've got that available. And then anything else maybe I want, if I want to use a, utilize a storage account, you've got what's called um, the event hub that you can link to, um, send partner, all that stuff. But I'm actually going to send everything to my log analytics workspace. So let's click on all metrics and let's click save. And we've now officially set that up for the network adapter. Okay. So this is how you would connect your different um, diagnostics and again, you can do that with the various things in regards to the diagnostics here. If you want to add additional diagnostic settings, you can. Um, if there was any, I'm, I'm already sending all metrics. So this particular resource doesn't have a bunch of other uh, diagnostic um, pieces of information, just the, just the one. But I have the various things I have here, including if I've got a key vault, a network security group, all that information can be linked in regards to diagnostic data. And then with your log analytics workspace, if I come back over here and go to all services, we'll pull up our log analytics workspace right here. All right, there it is. Of course, you could go through the resource group as well to get to it. This is where um, your information is going to be logged. So I'll start getting log data and all that stuff linked in here that I'll be able to view, all right? I can run queries, which I'm not really getting into queries and all that here, but in this video, but that is how you would link diagnostic data to your log analytics workspace. This is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.